Well, the airport was originally opened in 1925. It was uh, Fort Worth uh, Airport or Municipal Airport. And in 1927, the, f uh, the field was renamed Meacham uh, Airport after the then mayor, H.C. Uh, Meacham. American Airlines, at the time American Airways, uh, was establishing all their transcontinental routes, and they moved their corporate headquarters here from New York and built a hangar next door to this terminal building. Uh, and that was the head of their flight operations uh, for the American Airways system. 1934, they changed the name to American Airlines. During World War II, uh, Meacham was actually a naval auxiliary airfield. They would build aircraft on the East Coast, particularly Vaught or Grumman. Uh, they would have to ferry them to the West Coast to get on the aircraft carriers to go into the Pacific. And this was a stopover point, and at times there were several hundred airplanes here waiting just to be uh, flown on to points on the West Coast. There's so many things that have happened here. There, there are 15 world records that have been set here at Meacham Airport. In addition to this being one of the one of the first municipal airports in North Texas. In 1929, two gentlemen, Reg Robbins and uh, James Kelly, flew a Ryan uh, two-seat airplane out of Meacham Field. I left on uh, the 19th of uh, May, 1929. Landed on 26 May, 1929. Set a new world endurance record of 172 hours and 32 minutes and I think one second. It was a, a bridge initially into the aviation community as a whole. It started to bring in, uh, there was a lot of commercial aviation that took place out of here. National Air Transport started to run passenger service out of here. You could fly from here to Dallas for five dollars. That was the that was the going fear. You could go from here to any place else in the world. So for North Texas it really became a hub and a springboard, so to speak, for all of the aviation community here. It's a two billion dollar kind of an operation out here, lots of people employed. Uh, it's one of the best kept secrets in uh, private aviation that we've got around here.